You already know what's going on. I'm sure everybody out there logged on to the internet. Y'all heard the record. It's a World Star exclusive. World Star exclusive. Benny Siegel. What you talking about? I ain't your average cat. Because I'm really not your average cat. Now, y'all want to know, all right, BB Siegel dissing Jay-Z. Listen, it's not a diss record. How many people got the Blueprint 3 album? I mean, how many people really copped it and listened to it? Okay, hold up. If I say something like, if we talk about fiction or we talk about fact, if we talk about fiction, hold up. Oh yeah, they got that album. They got that album. Well, how many people want to know what I'm talking about? It's a real record. And it's just me talking to my brother because I still got love for the brother. And I told y'all, if y'all listen to the whole record, this ain't the green light. For dudes to start jumping out the boat thinking they can come after Hove and all that. No, I'm far from a hater. But it's just me conversating with my brother the only way that I can conversate with him and letting my feelings out. Because I ain't talking about the rock. I ain't talking about the rock. I don't talk about mine. Why would I talk about what you got? What you talking about? Cause you ain't talking about a lot, nigga, I'm from the ghetto, that's why I talk about the block. They say in every rhyme that I talk about my block. But I squeeze for real when you go talk and when I pop. It's like writing a letter. When you talk to a person straight up, face to face, and y'all talking and y'all disagreeing, hold up, can I get a little silence in here? Cause I'm doing this. When you talk to a person straight up, face to face, right? When you talk to a person straight face to face and y'all get to going back and forth and emotions get involved and y'all arguing, the point would never really get resolved because y'all arguing, you're going back and forth. If you write a person a letter, you can tell them everything that you want to tell them with no rebuttal from them because it's a letter and you're getting all your feelings out. You might hear a puta money gone, got blown, then you drop. And I stand on my own, I don't be talking to no cops. And I ain't talking for Chris, I ain't talking for me, I ain't talking for Sparks, I ain't talking for Free, I ain't talking for Crack. I got words for old Steve, but I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about me. So when I write my rhymes, I'm in a booth and I'm in there by myself. So there's nobody that can stop me from saying what I'm saying and there's no rebuttals from what I'm saying because I'm just speaking my heart. So when y'all listen to that record, don't just listen to the raps. Because the raps, that's just there for the entertainment and the sport of it because that's what I'm in, the music business. But when you listen to that record, listen to the talking at the end of the record and you'll understand more where I'm coming from. I'm not dissing Jay-Z, I'm not hating on Jay-Z for the position he's in or where he's going. I'm just saying, when you a team, and you a crew, and you a squad, and you grew from the ground up, you don't just leave your people hanging in the, in, in, in the wind. Now, nah, I'm more like the prequel. Homie never fear for war. This dude who I squeeze them for that thing of ours. Rockefeller was Rockefeller, I ain't gonna lie, it was his car. But at the time, excuse me, I'm talking. Part, oh, this is my OG, pardon me. Since seniority rules. So that's my mistake. Brothers fall out. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, Brother we can Trump. argue, because that's all it's going to go to is an argument. Brother I don't Trump argue strap. with people I don't know, because it's going to go somewhere else. But ain't nothing two men can't talk about. You understand what I'm saying? And that's all I'm saying. So for the haters out there who think, oh, BNC, you hating because Jay-Z got all these millions and he here and, and he in this position and he ain't got what he got. No, I ain't worrying about his money because I'm going to get mine rain, sleet, hell, or snow. You know what I mean? However way I got to get it because that's what I was used to before the music because I was a part of something before the music, whatever what it was. Right. But it's just me, Jay-Z don't owe me a dollar, don't owe me a dime, but as a man and as my brother, he owe me a conversation. And to me, D-I-E, my brother's keeper like Nino and G, that's what I'm talking about. See, I'm a grown-ass man. I'll sit on niggas' laps. And I ain't looking for no gifts out of Santa Claus' sack. The sand ain't real, let alone is he black Cause he coming down my chimney in a mat and go <laughs> So if you scared Get a dog, get a cat I bet the cat rip the tongue out of the rats See niggas are sit their hands But put their hands in their lap Cause they scared to face the man in the mirror like Mike Jack. And that's all he owed me. And that's what these records about. I didn't get that conversation from him. And that's what I needed. No, that, listen. If Jay-Z called me and we can resolve our issues, you'll never hear another record like that that I put out on Jay-Z again. But if he don't call me, and I hear a record and he holler at me via MC, expect to hear a rebuttal from me. See, because I'm a man who stand for something, so I ain't going to fall for anything. You understand what I'm saying? Because all I'm trying to get a point my cross to him is an ounce of truth outweighs a kilo of lies all day. Trap. I know he don't want to talk about that. But since niggas talking, let's talk about facts. I'm from the city where it's long dark nights here Where hard not life's real MJ and the real thing I'm so bad I'm a smooth criminal I'm a thriller holding a snub with a glove that don't glitter Nigga Oh don't get it twisted This ain't a diss record This a real record How full of it exposed You understand what I'm saying? All day and when I said in that record, when I said my brother's keeper like Nino and G, for those who I might go over your head, when you look, when you looked at that movie New Jack City, oh. and at the end of that movie, towards the end, when 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 G Money asked Nino, he said, "Damn, Nino, am I my brother's keeper?" And he said, "Yes, I am." And he blew his brains out. No matter what G Money did. He started smoking crack, he was tipping, and he was doing all that shit. But all he was trying to do was prove his loyalty to Nino. Because you forget, G-Money was the one who brought Nino to crack. And told him, this is the new shit. This is what we going to do. This is how we going to make this money. And the bitches, oh man, the bitches. Go back and listen to, look at that movie and watch it. But when Nino got a hold of that, he took over the empire like it was his. And he treated G Money like he was a worker instead of a partner and a friend. And if you look at that movie, you hear G Money crying to him, pleading. Nigga, you said this was yours. Nino, the world is mine. You remember that shit? The world is mine. And, and him back at G Money mind is like, yo. I brought you this shit. I put you on to this shit. Yeah, you you know what I mean? You moved it and you did this, that, and the third, but I put you D. But you gonna take my bitch from me? So that caused G-Money to start struggling.